Right, hello. I'm trying to fix a four meter dipole. Um, I wonder if you can help me out on this one because uh, I'm having a, a torrid time of it. So uh, I'll just give you some of the background details and then uh, hopefully through the comments you might be able to help me to uh, resolve the issue. It's a four meter dipole I've uh, got on this um, mass for the moment. And I'm going to um, reconnect the coax into the uh, legs of the dipole. The connections aren't uh, good enough. That was a very rushed job yesterday. So it's, it's all going to come down. I'm going to uh, replace the connector, replace the connector, um, put a common mode choke across there, run the coax 90 degrees away from the dipole and then also um, rewire the, uh, the uh, feed line into the dipole as well. Right, that's my uh, first attempt, uh, trying to put a uh, choke and <clears throat> see if it was the uh, anything to do with reflections. Um, <clears throat> I know this is quite close to this wall here, but even when I had the, the antenna flipped out over to here with this free space i was still getting a high swr so i'm going to bring this down i'm going to replace this uh, they might have water in the coax you never know so i'm going to uh, try and get it down resolder the um resolder the uh, ends on it see if it's the coax that's my first port of call really well hey I've got a bit of sun now we've just had an awful storm blow through I am um, so there's a gap in the weather so it's coming down now and uh, uh, have a go at getting the uh, feed line and um, sorted out okay I must admit I'm getting pretty stumped on this one I've um, solder the connectors and screw them back into the little scrub screws on these two uh, arms of the dipole I've tightened up the uh, the um, uh, screws on the actual dipole itself the bolts um, I've replaced just for now I've replaced the um, PL259 with a socket so I can get a direct connection um, I know I can tape all that up anyway <clears throat> when I put on a, a dummy load onto here uh, I get one to one SWR when I connect the antenna I get uh, over three to one SWR um, even on the lowest part and the highest part of the uh, four meter band that I can, I can, that I can use uh, it's, it's nothing to do with the actual the, this dipole was tuned in for the back it was tuned in for about half an hour it was perfect and then it just suddenly gone all oh, crap so what I may have to do is completely replace all of this um, feed line this coax completely replace it uh, and see if that fixes it but still getting nowhere with this I should have made my own I'm really annoyed um, should have just bought all the all the bits myself rather than use a scrap of scrap of coax and uh, uh, buying this off the internet, I should just make my own bugger it. Um, so yeah, still getting nowhere with it. Okay, I well that's it really. I, I don't think I can think of doing now is completely take out all the coax and get a new a new piece of coax in there. Uh, I've tightened everything up on the on the dipole. <clears throat> um, so yeah, so. I, I, I don't know if it's a bad connection somewhere or water in the, the coax looks in pretty good condition so I've chopped a big piece off the end of it and sold it on that socket but it hasn't, hasn't fixed it so uh, I, I'm a bit stumped um, I might just scrap yeah I'll send it back <sighs> send it back will probably cost more than, than it cost um, importing it so uh, I might just scrap it um, I, or, hello, I 
<clears throat> so yeah, I might just scrap it and uh, just build my own out of wire. Um, it's been there. Uh, I've wasted too much time on this now. Um, yeah, important, important lesson. Why, why, why buy it in when you can build it yourself? So okay. <clears throat>